Over the last month, everyone a part of the Fortnite community has been very uncertain as to whether or not the future of Fortnite Battle Royale is safe. Epic Games announced that they were going to be firing and laying off 16% of their overall workforce, which ended up being around 900 employees who all directly worked on Fortnite Battle Royale and in that department. And to make things even worse, Donald Mustard, the creative director of Epic Games, basically the mastermind behind everything we know and love about Fortnite Battle Royale, also decided to step down as the chief creative director, so that means that that position is no longer filled. But amidst all this bad news, we do have some good news, and that is confirmation that Chapter 4 Season 5 has not been delayed, the development is still coming, and we actually have all the early information about what this new season update is actually going to be bringing. If you guys look in the bottom left-hand corner of the Battle Pass, menu you guys will see that chapter 4 season 4 goes until November 3rd which means either early November 3rd or November 4th the following day is when chapter 4 season 5 new season update will be going live and we have confirmation that this season is not going to be getting delayed which is amazing because data miners actually found that the chapter 4 season 5's first update which is going to be known as 27.10 is already being tested which is absolutely insane that they are working on future updates for a season that hasn't even been released yet and it still is about a month away. And one of the biggest aspects of Chapter 4 Season 5, at least that we know of as of right now, came from Hypex back in June, who tweeted saying, Fortnite times LEGO, the collab is known as the digital twin in the files, and they plan to have LEGO characters as cosmetics and NPCs in Fortnite. Today, Adam Sussman, which is Epic's president, and Julia Golden, the LEGO marketing officer, showcased some LEGO props made in Unreal Engine in the new version of Fortnite's creative mode. As you guys can see here, here was some of the screenshots of this meeting that I thought was very, very interesting. And everyone thought after hearing these news that the next season of Fortnite was going to be a massive LEGO collab, similar to what they did with Marvel back in Chapter 2 Season 2, and that is until we got newer information about what this season is actually going to be bringing in terms of collabs and updates. But Sheena BR tweeted saying, Leak, the Fortnite Times LEGO products will be released in early 2024, which lines up with whispers I heard about LEGO likely not being in Season 5. Also, I am now able to confirm the Lego Llama Polybag rumor. As you guys can see here, along with these news, there was also some early designs of some of the cosmetics and things that basically are going to be released a part of this uh, collab between Lego and Epic and Fortnite. But now that we have confirmation that this stuff is going to be saved until later in 2024, that does confirm that Season 5 will most likely not actually have the Lego collab but that does not mean there won't be future collabs coming in the upcoming season. As you guys can see on screen, this is a collaboration survey that Epic sent out to millions of Fortnite players a few months ago that basically showcases all the different possibilities categorized with companies, characters, and everything in between that Fortnite could actually do collaborations with in Season 5 and obviously future seasons. And we know this is a very reliable source because some of the names and things featured on this survey have already ended up being collaborated with and released into Fortnite. So we do know that they are using this list of potential collabs for inspiration. Now, I am going to be deep diving on this in the next Season 5 video when we talk more about the Battle Pass, cosmetics, and rewards. Today, I just wanted to give you guys some of the general information, so we are going to be moving on. Something else that I thought was extremely awesome, and I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy this with the new Season update, is coming from Hypex, who who tweeted saying you will soon be able to create music in Fortnite Creative. This also was confirmed to be releasing in November and it's basically going to be the addition of a ton of different sound blocks in Unreal Engine Creative Mode which you guys can mess around with to create music, different sounds, beats, and basically everything in between. It was also confirmed by Martini Games who said new music making devices, patchwork devices is what they're known as the files coming November, including note sequencers, note triggers, drum players, and Omega synths. And as you guys can see, Epic actually did a briefing on this in a little secret meeting. Someone obviously took pictures of this and leaked it, which is how we have in-game screenshots of what some of these devices are actually going to look like. And this was confirmed going to be the newest creator tools coming to UEFN. We also have a short seven second clip, again, just showcasing some early footage inside the secret meeting. So I'm going to let that play for you guys real quick, just so you can get a better idea of what this looks like in-game. LFO simply stands for low frequency oscillator, but that just made things worse. Uh, <laughs> um, 
And after looking at the replies of this tweet, I saw this meme right here that said, us in Unreal Editor, and I thought that was absolutely hilarious now that everyone's gonna be a producer making beats and music and creative. This is really gonna be a bunch of people that have never touched music before, so I thought that was hilarious and I wanted to share it with you guys. Something else that's also very exciting, and this does have to do with some free rewards and upcoming potential cosmetics, again, coming from Hypex, who tweeted saying, Fortnite are working on new ranked rewards for next season in November. The rewards as of now are the Silver Glider, the Gold Umbrella, Platinum Glider, Diamond Umbrella, Elite Glider, Champion Umbrella, and then Unreal Glider. So basically, as you guys can see, these are going to be new ranked rewards that are most likely going to be released in the beginning of Chapter 4 Season 5 as rewards you get for ranking up, either playing zero build or, of course, build mode. And as you guys can see, this is some early concepts that people actually made all the way back in 2018, since this is something that people have been wanting in Fortnite for the longest time. Obviously, getting your first Victory Royale of every single season gives you a season-themed glider, so a lot of people thought it would make sense for Fortnite to release different ranked gliders that you were able to show off what rank you were able to get to in each season, with gold being the best and bronze or silver being the worst. But now, since we have all the new ranks in Fortnite, there's actually going to be a total of seven new gliders. And of course, once these rewards are found in the files, I will show you guys in future videos talking about Season 5 what they actually look like, since obviously there is a bunch of possibilities Fortnite could do for these designs, but we do know they are going to be umbrella gliders, which I think a lot of people enjoy. And something else that I wanted to share with you guys because I thought this was very good news, and I think this came out amidst all the bad news with Epic Games laying off a lot of their workforce, Donald Mustard retiring, but Hypex tweeted on October 4th, so just recently, saying an official email from Fortnite sent out to some of the partners and it states that they have a lot planned for November and December and that we will not run out of content in that time. So like I said, this is very good news for us because November, December, and probably into early January is basically going to be the release and launch of Chapter 4 Season 5, which means that season alone has already a ton of new content planned. The only other aspect of the season that we really don't know too much as of yet is obviously whether or not there is going to be a live event transitioning us into Season 5 and the potential return of The Last Reality and the members of The Seven who were huge storyline characters in Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. But so far here in Chapter 4, it seems like Epic is taking a little bit of a different direction. I'm just hoping that we get some of these main characters back so we can see what's been going on in the background storyline and I think Season 5 would be perfect, especially because there's rumors that after Season 5, heading into the new year, we're actually going to be getting launched into Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1. I'll actually be having another video talking about that because there is a lot of early info out. So make sure you guys turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.